All right, now I want to move on a little bit. I'm going to come back to this and uh, I'm going to start. There really is no more math the rest of this section, but I want to talk to you about some really cool stuff uh, because I, I did myself, I did a little bit of research in this in grad school. And so it's kind of a subject that I kind of find fascinating, but it's also something that's in your physics books as well. So I'm teaching you stuff that's in your book. It's just it's inter interesting to me for lots of reasons. So we have talked at great length what happens if you have a magnetic field uniform. Let me draw a couple magnetic field lines like this. So this is a magnetic field. We've talked at great length what happens if, so the field's going that way, if I shoot an electron in perpendicular to this field, what's going to happen is it's going to go whoop and it's going to start orbiting like this. And if you leave it alone forever, it's going to orbit forever, more or less, okay? But what happens if I don't actually shoot it in exactly perpendicular to the field? That's kind of what I was alluding to a minute ago. I'm going to circle back and talk about that in a minute. What happens if I give it some velocity? Think about vectors. If I give it some velocity this direction, perpendicular, but I give it some velocity this way, um, parallel to the magnetic field. In other words, instead of shooting it like this, what if I shoot it in at an angle like this? So some of the velocity is obviously pointing this way. Some of the velocity is obviously pointing this way. What's going to exactly happen? Well, I'll give you the punchline. What's, what's going to happen is you're still going to get orbiting, but the particle is going to orbit, and as it orbits, it's going to travel down the magnetic field lines. All right? Think about that for a second. Make sure you understand that. Everything that we've talked about before is exactly true. There is an orbit. It does go in a circle. There is a radius of this orbit that you can calculate from this. There is a period of that orbit that you can calculate from this. There's a frequency and all the stuff that you can calculate because it is truly orbiting the field lines. But if I push it and give it any velocity in the direction of the magnetic field, think about that. We already talked about that. If Because it's QV cross B, right? If you, if you have a magnetic field line this way, and I push a, if I shoot an electron directly parallel to the field, there is no magnetic force. Because V cross B, if they're in the same direction, there's no angle between them. Sine of zero is zero. So there's no magnetic force. If I have a field like this, and I shoot an electron directly down the field, absolutely no force is going to be pushing on that thing, because QV cross B is zero. So, Thinking about components of vectors, if I shoot it at an angle, if this is the magnetic field and I shoot this electron in at an angle, some of the velocity of this guy is perpendicular. That's going to lead to an orbiting motion. Some of the velocity is parallel. That's just going to be allowing the particle to move that direction. So what you're going to get in the end result is a spiral. You're going to get like a helix.